This video provides a comprehensive guide to properly sizing a battery bank for a 3000 watt inverter, focusing mainly on sustainability, efficiency, and longevity. We will use two examples, one for a lithium battery, and the other for a lead acid battery. To power a 3000 watt inverter running at full load capacity, you need a battery which has the energy capability for this amount of load as well as the number of hours you want to run the setup. With sustainability and longevity being the goal here, we will calculate battery size and number using these five main factors. 1. Inverter power consumption or the amount of power the inverter will draw from the battery bank. This is 3000 watts per hour. 2. The voltage for the setup. Here are the voltage recommendations for various setups. Inverter size less than or equal to 1000 watts uses 12 volts. A 2000 watt inverter uses 24 volts. A 3000 watt inverter uses 48 volts. So, the battery and inverter voltage is 48 volts. This setup can be done in 24 volts or 12 volts. But decreasing voltage will increase current, leading to the high cost of getting cables, charge controllers and fuses to handle the high current that comes with a 12 volt or 24 volt system for 3000 watt inverter power setup. 3. Battery capacity and voltage. The voltage and capacity of batteries you want to get for the setup will factor how many of the batteries you will need. 4. Battery depth of drain. You can drain 90% of a fully charged lithium battery and 50% of a fully charged lead acid battery per day. You want to maintain DOD to enhance battery lifespan. 5. We will consider the rate at which you can safely discharge and recharge a lithium and lead acid batteries to ensure battery longevity. Now let's calculate the battery size and number using inverter power consumption. Using this formula, we divide the inverter power consumption of 3000 watts by 48 volts to get 62.5 amp hours as the energy needed to run 3000 watts of continuous power for 1 hour. To run this amount of load for 5 hours, we have to multiply 62.5 amp hours by 5 hours of runtime to get 312.5 amp hours. Let's continue with 1 hour runtime energy requirement. Now, we will consider battery DOD. To get the amount of battery charge we can use from a battery with 100% state of charge or SOC, we divide our battery energy of 62.5 amp hours by 0.9 DOD for lithium to get 69.4 amp hours. And for lead acid, we divide 62.5 amp hours by 0.5 DOD to get 125 amp hours as the required battery energy. We approximate 69.5 to 70 amp hours for lithium. Let's now consider C rate since we want to have an efficient setup while also ensuring battery longevity. Lithium has a discharge and charge rate of 1C which means you can discharge and recharge 100% of battery capacity in one hour. This is usually for industrial application. However, for home solar power setup, the recommended C rate is 20 to 30%. 30% of 70 amp hours is 21 amp hours. If you divide 70 by 21, you get 3.3. Multiplying 70 by 3.3, you get 233, approximately 240 amp hours. If you go for 24 volt 100 amp hour batteries, you will need 2 to 3 batteries. If you go with 12 volts 100 amp hour batteries, you will need 3 sets of 2 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries in parallel and a total of 6 batteries. The 30% C rate also applies to lead acid for home and industrial usage. Energy requirement for lead acid is 125 amp hours. 30% of 125 is 37.5. If you divide 125 by 37.5, you get 3.3 which when multiplied by 125 gives you a total of 417 amp hours. If you go for 24 volt 100 amp hour batteries, you will need 4 to 5 batteries. For 12 volts 100 amp hour batteries, you will need 4 to 5 sets of 2 12 volts batteries in parallel in total of 8 to 10 12 volts 100 amp hour batteries. That brings us to the end of this video. Make sure to properly pair your batteries with your inverter by getting the right number of batteries for your setup. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your questions in the comments below and I will be glad to answer it. Until next time, keep powering your life with clean energy.